All right, on to that special report where Kenya's avocado farmers have forced the government to relook at the controversial Finance Act 2023. As they tabled their issues in a meeting involving stakeholders in the sector, chaired by Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, they specified the article they wanted amended and generation of e-teams to be implemented by aggregators and exporters. Our reporter, Vera Mora, has details on how the avocado business has evolved with the new clause in play. We leave you with this special report. My name is Jesse Rogers. Our sign language interpreter is Meresha Oiti. Enjoy. Last month's event of February 26 that saw officers from the Kenya Revenue Authority chased away in a forum held at Matenjago Stadium in Kandara constituency convened by Munyui Wanjohi, the National Avocado Farmers Chairperson, farmers laid bare the discontent with Section 23 of Finance Act that even the senior citizens are aware of. The clause makes it mandatory for all the farmers to board the electronic tax invoice management system E-teams before selling their produce. In fear of losing the ground, MPs from the avocado growing regions joined the farmers in opposing the Finance Act. I have had many conversations, oh, you member of parliament, you passed this thing, you did not know. To be very honest, it's a very, very simple and innocent statement in the Finance Act. The Finance Bill is a very big document. And within the shortest time possible, you cannot expect a member of parliament who is so busy to have gone even to the nitty grittiest inside to know what is contained in everything. Coincidentally, unlike in 2018, when the then National Assembly Budget Committee Chairperson Dindi Nyoro condemned Uhuru for the traders' woes, today the Kiharu MP is condemning the KRA for enforcing a budget he helped draft and pass into law in Parliament. He has directed them to hold the implementation of the tariff and conduct public participation with stakeholders in the sector. All the government shirika zote za serikari, kama KRA, na waruiza kwa heshima, as you do changes, and especially increasing um, duty, like the one we saw recently, it is important to do public participation. Farmers have laughed off Nyoro asking him to go back to parliament and initiate measures that will protect them from the punitive taxes. But just before that was done, the deputy president, Rigadi Gashagwa, seems to have matters of his followers at heart. We know there's a challenge with the Finance Act, and the members of parliament here have acceded that there is a challenge. Uh, there are issues in every document that uh, may not serve the intended purpose. And I want to say in a document, we may have one or two clauses that go counter to the intended uh Established to address issues raised at the forum and which will complete its work in 30 days. The issues include a duplication of duties between Horticultural Crops Directorate and the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service. According to farmers, the two government agencies have duplication of duties such as synchronization and double inspection, which causes delays in response and dispensation of services within the industry. Among other issues that will be addressed by the task force include the bureaucracy in the Kenya Revenue Authority and the Kenya Ports Authority. We want an example of a cooperative that has worked. We want an example of a cooperative that has driven coffee industry into excellence. We want a cooperative that has uh, driven uh, tea, ex uh, tea production into excellence. A cooperative that has brought rice production and uh, uh, trade into excellence. We have no problem with the cooperatives. But we have an issue with the people who had the cooperatives. Because once you bring cooperatives, you bring a sense of monopoly. 
And when there is that sense of monopoly, that is where Thakare comes in. And you find that everything that had a value have lost its value because there is a, a, a portion of monopoly. Directives from the deputy president indicate that the implementation of generating e-teams will be on hold for a month. Meanwhile, a list of farmers will be provided by the stakeholders. Further directing that, once they resume, e-teams will be generated by aggregators and the exporters, excluding the farmer. We are not fighting the government. We are not saying that we are not to pay tax. We understand there are roads to be built, there are hospitals to be built, there is medication that should be, uh, should be provided by the government. There is so much that we expect from the government. And all this is derived from the tax that we pay. But the system, the application is wrong. What may limit these farmers from registering? The association decries that there has been misinformation, especially by legislators to farmers, that if they agree to register the e-teams and expose their personal identification number, their farms may be grabbed, which makes farmers to hold their produce and only selling them to oil manufacturers and the local markets. <laughs> This move by farmers has seen containers missing the vessel cutoff, at times affecting quality, the shelf life, and the country's credibility in the international market. Despite the challenges in the sector, Kenya remains the number one export of avocado in Africa. It was positioned sixth in the world after Mexico, Indonesia, and Dominican Republic. With avocado's foreign currency earnings standing at 19 billion Kenyan shillings, in 2023, an increase of 4 billion Kenyan shillings in 2022. So when you talk about turnover tax, that's where the big deal is. Otherwise, don't go to the farmer. There is no value addition from the farmer. If it is a product that is coming from the Shaba, direct into an industry or a factory, don't tax the farmer, please. Don't tax the farmer. Go to the other people who are up there in the value chain. According to HCD, 32 counties in Kenya produce avocados, with the country's production in 2023 standing at 518,500 metric tons of an area of 29,150 hectares that are under avocado farming. Muranga led in avocado production accounting for 23.2% by value, followed by Nakuru 12%, Kisi at 11%, Kiambu at 9%, Nyamira at 5%, Meru at 4%, and Bomet, which stood at 3%. The Netherlands is the leading import of avocado from Kenya, followed by UAE, Spain, France, and Germany. Vera, Mora, KTN News.